These green blotches on the leaves are actually a clear liquid secreted by the nymphs of spittlebugs called spittle. It actually glows green in the black light. Not sure what the purpose of this is, but it's still interesting and it allows you to locate where spittlebugs might be during the nighttime. This is a very young tropical orb weaver spider. They can get a lot bigger than this, but when they're small, their coloration is very variable, ranging from yellowish, brown, and in this case, green sometimes. As adults, they get much larger though, like this individual, and average about the same color, more of that reddish brown. Great way to identify them is those four punctures in the abdomen. The variable lady beetle has a pretty similar color scheme to your average ladybug, but instead of clean black spots, the black spots on the shell often form strange patterns and are oddly shaped. The wren's cockroach is a species of wood cockroach, a family that also contains the German cockroach, but this native species is unfortunately heavily outnumbered by the invasive German cockroach. The margined shining leaf chafer is one of the most beautifully marked beetle species in South Florida, with green colors, reddish brown colors, and a white stripe on each side of the thorax. It's an unmistakable species of scarab beetle. That white marking is where the margined name comes from. This art here is one of the largest North American moth species, the polyphemus moth, which is named for those eye spots on the wings. Large Saturnid moths like these are often attracted to bright lights during the nighttime. This right here is a typical longhorn beetle called Anilaphus enormus. It doesn't have a common name, but that's its Latin name. Well, I found multiple of these guys on this palm tree right here. They normally feed on hardwood, like oak trees. While many longhorn beetles go for the intricate patterns and oftentimes have pretty decorated antennae, these go for more of the camouflaged look to blend in with the wood that they're eating and the plants that they live on. Longhorn beetles have very grippy feet and it was very hard to take them off this palm tree and once it was in my hand, it, it felt very weird on my hands. A great way to identify this species is the weird colored eyes. It almost looks like it's wearing goggles. Mole crickets are some of the strangest insects, not only in the way they behave, the fact that they can dig so well and can also fit through small spaces, but also because of how they look. This specific species is called the tawny mole cricket, named after that kind of orangish brown coloration. What makes mole crickets so interesting is that basically they've evolved arms. They function very much like the arms of any other vertebrate digging organism. And you can see at the tip of those two front legs are what almost look like hands with little fingertips and everything. The eyes are also big and beady for them to be able to see during the nighttime and to see in the dark spaces underground where they dig. Their streamlined body shape helps them get through cracks and other thin spaces, narrow spaces like this one right now. These two glowing lights right here are not eyes at all, but eye spots on an iconic South Florida and Caribbean beetle species called Ignalator havaniensis, which is a scientific name, as it doesn't have a common name. In the Caribbean, this species is commonly referred to as the cucuyo, and is a species of headlight click beetle. The reason members of this family are called click beetles is because of a mechanism that they have where they can move their thorax and head at rapid speeds up and down, creating a clicking noise. There are many practical uses for this, such as allowing the beetle to get out of s spaces where it's stuck in, and also from deterring predators. If you listen closely for the next couple seconds, you'll probably hear the clicking noise as it moves its head up and down. This click beetle was an incredible find, and huge thanks to my mom who spotted it with her eyes. This is my first time getting a good view 
and good in-hand view of the species. So it was very, very exciting.